Hello there, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. And Maggie's here. <laughs> um, this is going to be your weekly tarot reading for the week of October 18th through the 24th. And we'll take a look at the overall energy with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for some more details. Um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, Gemini, let's get into your reading. Now, you know, we are going, all the planets are going to be direct starting on the 18th, which is the beginning of the um, time period for this reading. And then on the 20th, we have a full moon in Aries. So the retrogrades, you know, maybe brought up a lot of past feelings or situations people from the past may have returned but now it's this energy of especially with the full moon in Aries about I am ready to take action I have cleaned out all of those cobwebs from the past and I am ready to move on so let's see what your um, soul travelers card is distant thunder clear the air you know this is an energy that there is something still that you need to clear out Sometimes it's just, you know, a belief system. It's about, you know, the retrogrades may have brought something up and now you're just kind of like in this energy of, okay, it is time to put that to the side. Or maybe it's a conversation you need to have to completely, you know, clear out all those feelings or whatever and just step into this energy of, I am moving forward. <laughs> it's like really nice. Um, okay, so let's see what your oracle energy is. We have breathe, a leg up, happy, happy, exchanging gifts. Yeah, trying to bring balance back into your life. You know, this breathe energy is lovely because especially after the retrogrades and, you know, one of the planets was Mercury, your ruling planet, um, finally finding the peace. You know, you've gone within, you've taken a look at some situations or relationships or belief systems that you had from the past kind of allowing those feelings to come up and now you're ready to move on you're you're looking at something and you know there is something from the universe that's coming in a leg up it could have to do with career and money I get the sense that this is like an opportunity a job opportunity a career opportunity a new project that you've been trying to get off the ground but you know with the retrograde season like nothing got started right I mean we tried but you know all that energy that holds you back and it's like all of a sudden the universe brings something in that, that really balances something oh my goodness look at this under here we have new life and no place like home I feel like this is really something, you know, for some of you, I really get the sense you may be trying to move, like going somewhere new, trying to start a new life, perhaps even um, build a new family life in some way, however that resonates with you. You may be wanting to move closer to family. There's something here about... I get the sense of almost like restoring a family life or taking a new look at family life, bringing balance somehow into your family life. Uh, we have the happy, happy. <laughs> this is the happy family card. Um, so this could definitely be a situation based on family, on what you want in family whatever that means, like say you're single right now, but you're really wanting, you know, to find a life partner and then to start your own family. It's this, like this <laughs> person suddenly shows up that is on the same path as you, that wants the same thing. Um, or it could be, you know, somebody kind of coming back there's something that you have to clear out it could be that you need to clear out this energy from the past that has something to do with family or a situation from the past maybe even with siblings or something like that like clearing something out so that you can go and get this new life whatever this new balanced life means for you in a family situation and that's going to resonate differently with everybody sometimes what we have to do is our childhood family we have to 
heal those wounds before we can bring in the romantic long life partner <laughs> family situation into our life. It's this essence of having to clean out something from the past, yet taking action. Either you are taking action. I, I really get the sense you're taking action, Gemini. It's kind of like moving forward. Like um, like the retrogrades brought up this energy of something from the past and you, you've taken a look at it and Gemini, you're not one to stew, right? It's kind of like, okay, now I understand. Like intuitively, you now understand why things may have happened the way they did in the past and now you're like, okay, I'm taking action on them. You know, a really nice energy of knowing where you want to go, having the clarity and then just moving. And this is very much that Aries energy, <laughs> you know, very much that energy of, yeah, I'm just going for it. I'm going to pull another one on there. Yeah, it's getting, it's looking at, um, I get the sense that the confusion, the competition of the past is clearing away and you're just moving forward. Perhaps on your own, there is an, you know, some, there you've done the healing and it's like you may be you may be leaving one situation to either move closer to family however that resonates with you or you're moving out of a situation of family towards something new for yourself so i really feel like that just depends on your situation I get a sense that you're moving away from something. You're kind of like, you've been thinking about it for a long time, trying to heal the situation. The star card is like, your light is meant to shine. And it's, it's almost as if it's not shining in the situation that you are in now and you're moving forward. You're kind of like, yeah, like wherever you are, the people around you, they don't see your light. And it's kind of like, yeah, but I know that I have that out there. Look at this, happy, stable family. It's like, okay, this didn't work out. Whatever this is, it didn't work out. And it's like, okay, I'm happy with that. Now I know where I stand. It's almost this essence of, okay, now that I know where I stand, now I know that I no longer need to have this confusion and I can move forward. Uh, oh, it's a really nice energy and some of you may be kind of like well I really don't want to leave where I am right now um but it's this essence of I can't shine my light staying in this situation that I am in right now now it doesn't mean if you're moving away from family like you feel like you have to move to some new location or something like that to find your happy happy it doesn't mean that you have to completely cut these people out of your life. It's just that you're not going to give them any more of your time and energy. There's something else that needs your time and energy. You're not getting <laughs> a balanced energy from the people that you're around. And it's like the, the universe steps in and says, Hey, Gemini, we need you to go in this direction. We need you to do this. And it's like this opportunity is plopped into your lap right so that you can go into this new direction and I get a sense that some of you seriously may be moving away doesn't mean that you're leaving them behind really it's just that you're moving away perhaps from family or friends you're kind of like going out on your own in a way because you know that there's something bigger out there for you so let's see what your obstacle is. Five of Wands. <laughs> this is like, to me, this is the family drama card, you know. Or if you're in a work situation and you're thinking about leaving the situation for another job or to start your own business, it's just that, that it's the drama and this drama is literally draining your energy. It's like you get the clarity that I cannot be around all of this. It's draining my energy and I have to go in another way. It's this sense of you almost having your purpose in life. It's like you see your purpose and you may have thought that part of your purpose was being around 
this family or work situation and then all of a sudden it's like no no I have to clear this out clearing out that that energy and once again it doesn't mean that you're cutting the ties with them um but it's the sense of I have to protect my time and energy and I'm only going to put it towards the things that give me back joy and happiness. Like I'm looking for joy and happiness. I don't want any more of this uh, confusion, chaos, conflict, drama. All right, so let's see um, what advice spirit has for you. Six of Pentacles. Find your balance. Find your own balance. If the people and situations, I mean, look at this. We have two cards of balance. You know, this is Libra energy. You may be dealing with a Libra, but you don't have to be. It's the sense of, I have got to bring balance into my life. There's something bigger calling to, to you or wanting you. Like the universe is literally stepping in. So that you can kind of pull your wet, yourself away from this energy that isn't balanced towards something that is balanced. Okay, and then the final outcome, nine of wands, being determined. Knowing that this has been a long path, but that it's been worth it. Because there's something go better on the other side. Two of cups. <laughs> this is the something better. I'm actually going to pull this. Um, yeah, there's something better. There is something that is going to last the, the test of time. This can be a business partner, romantic partner, true soulmate. You know, that it's been worth it. Somebody that really and truly has emotions, is willing to share those emotions. Somebody that's not full of drama. <laughs> Somebody that has a lot of emotions for you and is going to take this energy of feeling lost and alone and turn the wheel, right? The fortune is coming in really nice. Perhaps communication or action from somebody Um it could be, you know, definitely somebody from the past because we have this, this pentacles, this five of pentacles, five of wands energy. Um, but it, I don't really necessarily have a past energy. I feel like this, the, <laughs> the universe is really bringing somebody in for you or a situation in for you that just kind of like almost lifts you up out of this chaos and conflict, almost lifts you up and takes you to a different location. I really get a sense that a lot of you are moving. Okay, so let's see. With this, we have the Page of Cups. Oh my gosh. There's that Libra energy again. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a Libra or we only have a few days of Libra season left. It could be that. You're walking away to find something more balanced. You're getting inspired. This is like the leg up from the universe. You know, you're getting a, a new creative idea or you're just seeing, it's almost like you're seeing clearly, like you don't know perhaps, it's a sense of I don't know how to fix this, right? And the universe kind of steps in and says, is this not your job to fix this? We need your time and energy somewhere else. So we're going to give you this opportunity, you know, um, for a lot of you, it just feel like you're moving. You could be moving for a new job. You could be moving to, to try to find your soul tribe. Like, I feel like a lot of you just, you get, you. Uh, there's this sense of a family kind of like dynamic that's not working for you. And you're trying to fix it because you feel like this is something you're supposed to, you know, oh, fix. <laughs> However that resonates, it's kind of like you're trying to get something to work and it's kind of like, but that's not, that's not really your purpose. It's like the universe is saying, no, these people, you, you're okay, Gemini. These people have to figure this out. We're lifting you up and putting you into this much higher because we have the wheel of fortune, you know, much higher type of energy. I feel like, you know, with the page of cups, this is that leg up energy again. It could be somebody coming 
in to apologize for something that they've done. This is a true soulmate connection. It's taking action, realizing that there is... You know, perhaps a situation from the past, perhaps a romantic connection that um, needed to end with the Wheel of Fortune. It needed to end to start a new beginning that will lead you to the true love of your life. You may have thought that this person from the past was the true love of your life. They may come in and even apologize, okay? For some of you, I get the sense you may have options, you know? options like this person from the past is coming back but I feel like you also have this opportunity for a new love let's um let's clarify once again this Libra energy let's clarify this two of cups let's see what this two of cups is is this new energy or is this past energy the hermit knight of cups four of swords three of cups um, you know, I get the sense this person, it may have been a while since you've seen this person. It's the energy that you have been alone for some time. And then somebody's coming in to offer their love. And with the Knight of Cups, it's somebody that you already have had a relationship with or, you know, in whatever capacity that is either in work or romance, family, like somebody's coming in and expressing their love. You've been by yourself for a while. You've done a lot of introspection. This person is coming in and I'm saying that it's somebody you already know because it's a knight. It's not an ace of cups, right? It's not even a page of cups here. Um, it's a knight of cups. It's somebody that you have history with and they're coming in to try to heal this situation. They want to turn the wheel with you. So what? let's take a look at this Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little time with this because I think it, whatever this is, is leading to this at the end. So uh, King of Swords, Page of Wands, you're walking away. You want to walk away. You're getting the clarity. You're getting the inspiration to walk away from this energy. With the King of Swords, once again, it could be another air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Libra energy is very strong in this. I'm not sure, you know, if you're dealing with the Libra, I really feel like this is your reading. Um, you don't have to be dealing with a Libra because we are in Libra season, but it's like, you're getting the clarity. You're getting the inspiration. You're understanding why this person was on your path. This person has opened you up to seeing something differently. And you may have thought that this person was your person. Uh, there's a definite deep soul connection. This could even be a twin flame connection. But with this Eight of Cups, if they come in and express their love, it's not exactly what you wanted. <laughs> it's like, no, not going back to that. And I think that's why you have this five of wands here. It's kind of like there's some drama. Like this person may come in and express their love, uh, even apologize. There could be other people around you that feel like you should reunite with this person. There's just like this drama and you're like, ah, I just really, this is like really not good for my energy. I was like, mm, there's something else I need to be doing. Oh my goodness. Empress, time. It, yeah. Three of, pen, three of cups. Um, Okay, the Three of Cups has been coming up. So, you know, this is a celebration. There is the celebration. It's also a third party type of energy. It's also that somebody here, it's overindulgence. You know, like somebody, uh, I don't think it's you, Gemini. It could be the person that you're dealing with is overindulging in some way. And I feel like you may feel like there's a lot of time and energy spent playing and not, and, and playing is good, <laughs> but too much time and energy on this. 
Yeah, it's taking a lot of patience for you to see this. You know, you have a high priestess here. Like you kind of understand the situation. You kind of, uh, on a spiritual level. So you have the empress. This is a mother, mother energy too. So for some of you, it, I once again, I get the sense that this is a family situation. You don't have to be the mother. It doesn't have to necessarily involve your mother, okay? Um, but it's about family. Like there's been a lot of time and energy put into the situation. And now you're kind of like getting the, the inspiration about what to do with all of this drama. I almost get a sense that some of you are just going to have a very frank discussion with everybody that's involved in this and say, you know what? Uh, I have things to do. <laughs> are you going to keep playing around? I feel like there, there's a, like a lot of playing around. Um, it could be, you know, in third party situations, but there's like a lot of energy spent in playing whatever that means like maybe it's a lot of time traveling or just having fun or hobbies or something like that and you're like this is ridiculous like there's something that we need to either heal in this situation like I feel like it's almost as if you're like you all are being distracted okay it's a distracting type of energy you all are being distracted in all of this Frivolity, <laughs> frivolous, uh, playfulness, traveling, flashy stuff. I just see flashy stuff, you know, buying of things or something. And you're kind of like, you're spending so much time and energy on that. But there's an issue here. Like there's an underlying issue in this relationship or family situation or work situation. And it's kind of like, okay. Quit playing around and let's get to let's get busy here because I got things I got to do. And Gemini, I think you're kind of taking a leadership role and saying, "Okay, I, I'm not playing this game anymore. I got things to do. I I have a soul's purpose <laughs> to fulfill here. The universe is stepping in and maybe even giving you the courage in order to try to clear out." Clear the air. Clear the air. It's like almost a, you suddenly find your voice. And Gemini, I mean, you are, a, <laughs> you do enjoy speaking. But sometimes you can also try to appease everybody, right? Because you, you're a very, uh, you know, you're a mutable sign. You can fit in with everybody. And I feel like you've been fitting in with everybody. But now it's kind of like, okay, this is ridiculous. You all are not, <laughs> you all are not <laughs> getting on the same page and you're ready for a new life either that it's kind of like let's clean this up and get back to a happy home or i gotta move on because i got things to do okay so let's go to the six of pentacles oh my goodness the devil the queen of swords the queen of pentacles the magician i feel like maybe you are trying to manifest this situation to clear whatever that means yeah, you're trying to move on. At Hierophant, once again, you know, I, I just get a sense that it, it could be a work situation. There could be finances that are holding back this situation. We have the um, Eight of Pentacles here. It could be, a you know, a work situation. I get this sense. I keep coming back to family and with the Hierophant, you know, that's another family, wedding, marriage card, chariot. I mean, look at. This is all major arcana, right? Wanting to progress, wanting this situation. You're trying to manifest that this situation uh, is, is healed and moves on, is victorious. Like you want to keep, it's in your nature. You know how I said that you may be moving, like trying to get away from this because it's so much drama. But I was also saying, but you're not cutting the cords, right? You're not cutting the cords. You want this to work out. But it's kind of like, I can't put any more time and energy into this situation. It's almost like, okay, I have to go find something else. You know, you are attached to a certain ending. You want this to become balanced. But there is this energy of, 
somebody here, I'm going to say in this situation, that's working behind the scenes to try to keep it unbalanced. There, you know, there's some type of, some type of toxic energy here. Somebody, okay, I'm going to call it, this is what, this is what, uh, where is that card that we had? Where's my, here, okay, the three of cups energy. Remember this three of cups energy? I feel almost like, um, Okay, my friends and I call this the, the kind of the fun dad and, you know, or it could be a fun mom. It's kind of like that energy of somebody saying, oh, let's just go have fun. We're not going to talk about any of this. We're not going to talk about the hurt feelings. We're not going to talk about things that maybe even this person did to cause pain and anguish in this group of people, this family or this work situation. We're not going to talk about that. Let's just go have fun, right? Let's just go have fun. And you are sitting here in this energy of, hey, I am seeing clearly that I have work to do on this planet. And you know what? This is really draining my energy. And either we can try to bring this back together and do it very quickly or I'm out of here because I got things to do. I just get this sense that you feel like you have something to do, right? You're like, I know where I'm going. You know, I have things to do. And if you don't want to go with me, that's fine. But I got to get going. I've, I've spent way too much energy on this. Okay, so let's see what we have for the future. Oh, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands again. Okay. Ah, the world card. Yeah, you're moving out of this chaos. You're ending the chaos and the conflict. You're ending it. Whatever that means. And I think for some of you, it depends on what this situation brings forward. Okay, so we this is your outcome. You know, we have the nine of wands. The wounded warrior, Gemini, you have been the carrier of the burdens in this situation. Whatever this situation is. There's a lot of love here. And that's why you have just kept going. It's kind of like you just knew intuitively this group of people are meant to be together. And it's like, I'm not giving up. It's like you have been dragging this big weight with you, hoping for the wheel to turn and the blessings to come in in this situation. It has taken a very long time. Now, with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups, somebody is coming in once again to express their love. Now, with the Ace of Cups, this is why I said in the beginning, I kind of felt like you had a new love coming in. I think you have two people. I think you may have somebody from the past coming in. I think you also may have somebody from <laughs> new coming in, but if nothing else, I think this person from the past or the person that's involved in this situation that has possibly caused a lot of this hurt and pain comes in and expresses their love. They want to start afresh with you, but they may not. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Cups. Um, they may not necessarily be on the same page as you. Let's see. What do we have for this Ace of Cups? Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, King of Wands on the bottom. Um, wow. They, they are not sure what they want in this situation. They have a lot of love for you, but they don't know if they can overcome what they've done in the past with the Knight of Swords. I feel like they almost like deserted you. Once again, I get the sense that, you know, these two energies go together. They kind of, you know, the Knight of Swords is kind of this energy, I'm going to go do my own thing. And now they're kind of like, well... I don't know. I think I want to be with Gemini. Gemini is getting ready to leave. Gemini's, 
Gemini's packing their bags and getting ready to move on. Gemini's frustrated. Like, I think that this person feels as if you'll never really leave. Like, in a toxic way. As if, you know what, Gemini will always be there for me. And it's, you know, for some of you, if you're the mother in this situation, you know, mom will always be there for us. Or dad will always be there for us. Or... You know, whoever is involved in this situation, Gemini will always be there for us. So it doesn't matter. We don't really necessarily have to worry about Gemini because Gemini is just always going to be there for us. And it's this sense of, you know, we don't necessarily have to treat Gemini in a loving way. Like we can have all this chaos and conflict and celebrate in our own way. And Gemini is kind of like, I am done with this. Like you all need to clean up your act. You know, I really feel, I get the sense Gemini that you're just kind of like, what is it? Throwing down, throwing down the, the sword or something and, and just saying, Hey, that's it. I've got things to do. Gemini, I feel like you have this really um, strong sense of purpose of needing to go in some direction and have like a soul's purpose. Like you've gotten some kind of downloads, maybe during the um, retrogrades, you've gotten some kind of downloads about, hey, I've got to go do something and I can't deal with this drama anymore. Huh, change. For a change, do something you usually do a certain way in a different way. Yeah, Gemini, I think perhaps possibly it is that people know that they can count on you. That, oh, Gemini will do it for us. We don't have to really do that. We can go have fun. Gemini will clean the house. <laughs> you know, it's that type of energy. Gemini will do the grocery shopping. Gemini will, you know, whatever it is, Gemini will pay the bills. We can just go have fun. And it's kind of like, no. <laughs> I, I am not spending all my time and energy taking care of you people anymore. <laughs> I have things I've got to go do. Feed your artist. Wow, this is a, a, I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. Feed your artist. You know, I'm going to actually pull a clarifier on that because I really get a sense that that is, you know, your feed your artist. I feel like it's the the artist, the creator, the the your soul is speaking to you because, you know, um that is your soul. Your our inner child is our artist. And it's kind of like, yeah, you got to go do that. There's something a, a soul calling. Eight of swords, you're not you're concerned you're concerned, but no, don't be. It's like the universe is saying, no, don't be. The universe is, okay, this message I just got is, the universe is saying, don't worry about these people. Like, don't worry about them. It's like your angels are saying, don't worry, I'll take care of them. We need you in another capacity somewhere else. Go be victorious over there. Oh my goodness, really interesting. Okay, I because... The romance, I feel like there's romance, family, something here. I um, do want to pull a couple of romance angel cards here just to see if we can get a little bit more advice. Wow, interesting. You deserve love very soon. Attraction, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You know, I think that's what you have to do. I think you're so concerned about how this works out. You know, this energy is a little bit about being so attached to a certain outcome. And it's kind of like, I get the sense. You have put the time and energy into this. There is nothing else you can do. It's like these other people that are involved have to work it out. You've done what you can do. Your job is done here. And maybe you have to wait for them to figure it out. But in the meantime, the universe needs you somewhere else. You do deserve love. And yes. Gemini, you really do. I feel like you're not getting the love from these people. <laughs> I really do. And it's very soon an attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I think 
you need to go live your purpose. And in doing that, you're going to like raise your vibration and shine your light and attract somebody that really is meant to be with you or <laughs> this situation is going to figure it out. Oh, wait a minute, Gemini's not here. We better, <laughs> we better get our stuff together uh, really quick or Gemini's not coming back. Really interesting, Gemini. Well, I hope you enjoyed this message. And if you did resonate with it, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I do wish you much love and light in this, Gemini. Gemini, you're going to be victorious no matter what. So uh, hold on to that, <laughs> even though this could be a painful situation. Be kind and compassionate and generous to yourself. Um, and I wish you much love and light, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.